friends, it's Paige Evans and I have a new mini album to share with you today and I will show you the basic assembly instructions and then do a flip through of my finished album. So once you have purchased the cut file, you want to go into your library and search for accordion and it should come up pretty quickly or if you want to search for it on the Silhouette store, it's called accordion mini album with tags design ID number 268004 and I will also leave a link to it below. So you want to double click on it and it will drag and drop or it will drop into a new document like this and you want to right click and ungroup everything because everything comes all together but unless you want to cut out like scraps you want to just cut things one at a time or groups at a time. So I am going to grab the base which is this shape right here and all of the dots are individual so you want to make sure you select that entire shape and the dots and you can even group it if you want. Then you're going to send it to your cameo so pick the pattern paper or cardstock that you want to use. I use a ratchet blade and keep the settings as is and then send it to my machine and I'll show you that piece that I cut it from a little bit later. So move that piece off of the mat and then group all of these pieces together, make sure you've got all the dots as well, and you can either cut it from a single piece of cardstock or a single piece of pattern paper. But what I did is turned on the grid, and these are one inch squares, so that's what your cutting mat looks like, and I moved every section into a, let's see, it's four by six inch Area. And so I cut pieces of pattern paper to four by six inches, six different pattern papers, and made sure everything was aligned. This is what my cutting mat looks like with the four by six papers in place. And then I sent it to the machine to cut them out. And a couple minutes later, this is what it looks like, and I peel off the pages. So these are going to be the accordion pages of the mini album, and they have score lines and I will show you how to fold them momentarily. just want to show you how to cut out the rest of the pieces for the mini album. So I've peeled those off the mat and then I'm going to go back into Silhouette. So I'm going to select all of these pages, papers, and just move that over just to not be confused. And here comes some layering pattern papers. And you could cut one and use it as a template. It might just be faster to hand cut these or cut them all from a single piece of pattern paper. In the crate paper here in their collection, it's handy because there is a paper with cut apart sections that are three by four. And I don't, I'm not exactly sure the size of these rectangles, but they fit perfectly inside three by four inch sections. So if you want to cut pattern papers to three by four and fill up the cutting mat with those three by four papers, or let me show you, here is the pattern paper from, again, the crate paper here in their collection. I'll show you with my ruler how each section is about three inches by four inches. So this is perfect. And I'm going to go ahead and cut all these layering papers from that pattern paper. Send. Only takes a few a few seconds, maybe a minute, to cut all these rectangles because they are a very simple shape, and I will peel them off of the mat. So that creates 12 layering pieces. I don't end up using every single one. I think because of the papers, the pages that have the notches in it, these don't exactly fit on those sections, but they are good for other projects as well. Alright, so the next pieces I'm going to cut are these layering pieces for the cover piece. And I don't actually end up using any of them except for one, but if you want to have those layered pieces inside the album, I'll show you how to do that. So I'm arranging them to fit on these grid. I love using this grid technique so that the I can cut papers to fit inside the sections. It just mirrors what is on the sticky mat. So I'm just moving them around and trying to figure out which size pattern paper. I thought maybe I would cut them from individual pattern papers, but I decided to just cut them from a single piece of mint cardstock, and that way if I wanted to, I could use those as a template and cut out pattern papers. But just 
to make things easy, I cut it from the mint cardstock. So I'm going to send it to my machine and coming up in the next frame, you'll see what it looks like. So the machine has cut out these layering pieces and I'm going to peel them off the mat and then go back into Silhouette Studio one more time to cut the tags. And I apologize, I didn't measure the tags before I uploaded this, so they do need to be shrunk down a little bit. Just drag the cursor over to make them thinner. I will upload the cut file so that they are automatically this size, but until then, you need to make the tags thinner so that they will fit inside this mini album. I am going to cut those also from the mint cardstock. The mini album is ready to be assembled. So I have all of my pieces and I'm going to start with the base, which is this pretty pink on one side and blue striped on the other side paper. Everything's from the Here and There collection and there are score lines. So you can't see them well in the camera, but they're there. So you just want to fold on all of the score lines and this creates the base of the mini album. I couldn't decide which side I wanted showing on the outside, whether it was the blue or the pink, so I quick, quickly flipped it over so the pink was showing. Then I decided I want the blue showing. Set that aside and now we're going to start folding the inner pages of the mini album. So these also have two score lines per page and this heart one is going to be on the front. There are three plain pages and then there are two pages that have notches and those two notched papers are going to be adhered back to back although you don't necessarily have to do that that's just how I designed it in my head but you can always get creative and use things how you prefer so I'm just using my fingernails to score on these lines and crease it Perhaps if you used a bone folder, that might make the creases a little bit cleaner, a little bit nicer. Fingernails work pretty well too. So here's the two notched pages that I was talking about, and these will go back to back. And then we want to start adhering these. When you're, excuse me, when you are adhering these notched pages together, you want to place adhesive only on the sides, the left and right sides, and the bottom edge, and then you align them up, and the first accordion page is ready to go. Now, in this example, I'm going to show you how I adhered them back to back and placed adhesive on all edges. However, I did go back and take the album apart and turned all of these pages into pockets, and the easy way to do that is to just not put adhesive along the top edge. So only place adhesive along the left edge, the right edge, and the bottom, and that creates pockets in between each page. And I love having pockets so that I can tuck additional tags, additional ephemera, additional photos into the mini albums. So um, I, I gave up doing the super double the super sticky double-sided secure or um sukwang tape but that is what I ended up going back to to create the pockets and then you adhere them back to back and you're going to have like three of those edges on one side and three of those edges on the other side so that's how you'll know you're doing it right and the heart page goes on last so it's going to be on the front and then grab one of, I'm going, well, I'm not going to use all of these. I'm just going to use the largest one in the middle, this mint cardstock. And this goes in the largest middle section. It's just a layering element. I love having pops of color here and there. So place adhesive on the back side of the accordion mini album and adhere it in place. Now take those pattern paper pieces, and these are again just layering pieces to add extra color, extra interest, and I'm just deciding which ones are going to go where. And I like how this perfectly fits that heart. It was serendipitous. It was I didn't plan it to fit like that, but it, it worked out. And I'm actually going to end up backing that heart with that pattern paper and placing a different pattern paper piece where I just adhered that one. I like how that adventure bucket list has lines so I can write journaling, so I'm not going to cover that up with anything else like a photo. 
flip it over, add more of the pattern paper pieces. Just where you think you like them, or if you want something else, you can always hand cut on another piece of pattern paper or make things a little bit cleaner by cutting a white piece of cardstock. And here I'll show you where these layering pieces fit inside the inside cover. There are also two that go on the outside cover, and I am adhering them in place because I thought I wanted them, but in the end I decided to take them off. So here's where these ones fit on the cover. Decided I didn't want them. And that is the basic, the basic assembly of this accordion mini album with tags. Speaking of the tags, here are the tags. They fit nicely into this notched pocket. I also hand cut a few more using those tags as a template. There's the heart that comes from one of the papers, so you can use that as an embellishment. And now I'm going to show you a flip through of the completed album. So I made a charm using the tassels that come in the Here and There collection, and also I used a charm from the Crepe Paper Good Vibes collection. I used a piece of Velcro, sticky Velcro dots that I got on Amazon. Let me show you really quick. So these are really handy for keeping mini albums like this closed and they're fairly, they work fairly well, pretty sticky, so recommend them. And I embellished the left and right edges with stickers and chipboard stickers and here is the first spread. I typed in printed journaling straight from my blog and here's the pocket. So in every pocket I added a tag or an envelope, you will see, double-sided. It's a great place to add extra photos. Also machine stitching because I love that homespun feel that the dangling threads add. And again, I created the pockets, remember, by placing adhesive only on the left, right, and bottom edges when I was adhering all the pages together, and that's how you create the pockets. Here is the next spread, so it's a family photo, and then inside the pocket is this teeny envelope. Again, serendipitously, it's the perfect size for this mini album. It's from the Crate Paper here in their collection. You can find that little envelope. And I've got some more photos, more journaling, and an ephemera die cut inside this envelope. I'll tuck it back inside the pocket. And the next page I made kind of a, a mini album inside a mini album. There's a couple of those throughout this album. So I used washi tape to connect photos together and then added tabs to make it easier to turn the pages as well as Velcro dots so that they stay closed. There's also another pocket. I tucked in a tag with photos and on the back is this puffy scooter sticker which is cute because we saw a lot of those scooters around town tucks back in and then moving on to the next spread. So this is the notched pocket and I'll show you what's inside that pocket when I flip it over. And on this side I stapled a couple photos. That's a good way to add more photos is to staple some together. And now I'm going to flip it over so you can see the other side. This is a great way to showcase lots of photos by it, um, embellishing both sides. So this, we went to Stockholm on a cruise and there's a cruise ship sticker in this collection so it fit perfectly right there. And a photo with some washi tape and geotag sticker stapled on top. Here's where I, where I wrote that journaling. And inside this pocket is a little tag mini album. So there are a couple tags in this collection. I fussy cut those trip stickers added more photos, used the roller stamp to stamp all of those sentiments, added some puppy stickers, rub-ons. There's a lot of really fun elements in this collection that are just perfect for traveling and these colors go along really well with Stockholm. We also took a taxi so I thought that taxi chipboard sticker was a great fit for when I needed a little something on the back of that tag. We actually went in July so above that heart sticker on the 27th I put July you know, you, you go with it sometimes. In this pocket is another tag. This is one that I hand cut from pattern paper, added a photo, some machine stitching, and on the back is just some stickers. I think it's one sentiment, one full length sentiment sticker and I cut it up into pieces. Added a banner sticker with some journaling that says real Swedish fish when in Sweden. 
and ending with a family photo and a puffy cityscape sticker. So it folds up nicely into an accordion. The cover folds up nicely and stays in place with the Velcro dot. And I embellished the cover with a few things here and there. So I hope you are inspired to check out this cut file. It's really easy to put together and super fun to embellish and get those memories documented and recorded. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know. See you again soon.